Look, emergency management officials, including the governor, have been warning that this storm had the possibility to be extremely powerful over the last several days. People were warned. Not everyone heeded that warning, however. As we get another wind squall here, um, not everyone heeded those evacuation warnings. And at this point, that's unfortunate because it is very dangerous here in terms of the wind speed. Again, the most powerful hurricane in terms of wind speed to hit this area. If there is a small, and I say small bit of good news here, it's that the hurricane made landfall in a place that isn't as heavily populated as other parts of Florida. It hit the wetlands, Keaton Beach, obviously will be heavily impacted and they will have to deal with storm surge. Too early to tell exactly how this area is dealing with the damage. We should know that later today when people start to assess the damage. But I can tell you, not everybody evacuated. At this point, people are hunkered down, unclear what the property damage will be. But these winds are powerful. Savannah and Jeff. Look, hurricanes, <laughs> they are unpredictable in a sense. The forecast models tell you one thing, but to be really standing here feeling the power of the storm is something else. I've covered many stor uh, storms in Florida. Um, the ones that immediately come to mind, Irma several years ago, they hit in 2017. Hurricane Michael will always stick with me for how it wiped out Mexico Beach. I had never seen destruction like that before. In terms of this storm, too early to tell. I can tell you the winds are they're up there. Um, not as much as, you know, say Irma or, um, or Ian even, uh, but it is getting up there. And again, these wind speeds more than 100 miles an hour right now. They will devastate any community. And my hope is that this, you know, that the property damage isn't as, as extensive as some people fear it might be.